Ecolampadius de Gaudio Resurrectionis, Episode 2. In the previous episode, we read and analyzed this portion, that is, the address, the polite comments from Ecolampadius to his friend Sigismund Grimius, the doctor at Augsburg. In this episode, we will read in Latin and then translate and analyze this rather long and a little bit complicated sentence. It goes like this. Brevi epistola mi Sigismunde, so lenne hoc quod tam acurrate a plerisque agatur. Nuncupandae lucubrati unculae negotium expediam. Temetsi prolixior necessaria videatur. Partim quod eximia beneficia, quae tu in me colocasti plurima. Pardrem requirant gratitudinem. Partim quod parva dona, quale hoc meum nihili munus est, ampliori magnificari solent commendatione. Eclampadius begins with brevi epistola, which is a feminine singular, and it's an ablative of instrument, so I take it. By this brief letter, my friend Sigismund, this of course is going to be masculine singular and evocative, by this brief letter, my friend Sigismund, and then he puts solenne hoc. Solenne hoc is neuter, singular, and accusative. The first word is solenne, there's a ligature, which is sometimes spelled solemne, and even solemne. There are a variety of spellings for this word. But solenne hoc in the neuter singular accusative is modifying negotium. And negotium is the object of expediam, the main verb of this portion. So, in this brief letter, my friend Sigismund, I will explain, expediam, I will lay out, first singular, future, indicative, active, I will lay out, solenne hoc negotium, this significant or solemn business, this important matter. Now we're going to have uh, a relative clause from quad through agitur, which is describing, in the same way that Solena Hawk does, negotium. It's a matter which, quote, is handled, agator, or treated, a plerisque. So plerisque is a masculine plural, and it's an ablative of agent. It is handled or treated by very many people quite accurately, tam accurate. So accurate is an adverb, and it's modified by another adverb, namely tam. So he says, I will treat or explain solemne hoc negotium, quod through agitur, and it is that negotium nuncupandae lucubrati unculae. So these are both feminine, singular, and genitive. A lucubrati unculae is a, an interesting word. It means something like a little late night meditation. And it's modified by nuncupandae. So nuncupandae is a gerundive. It's from the first conjugation verb, nuncupo, nuncupare, which means to name something or to call something. So I will explain this business, this significant business, of my little nighttime meditation as it ought to be called. So this is a combination of charm and modesty, whether false or true, it's hard to tell. And he says, I will do this expedium tametsi, even if it should seem, videatur, even if it should seem prolixi or, a little more lengthy or, I would say something like wordy than is necessary, necessaria. So prolixi or necessaria is going to be feminine, singular, and nominative. And I believe so because it's referring to the letter even if my letter should seem prolixior necessaria, a little uh, longer than is necessary. In the remainder of the sentence, he's going to explain why he does this. So you notice we have the partim quad and the partim quad. I'm doing this partly because, quad, the eximia beneficia, the outstanding benefits. Now here is our subject of this portion, neuter, plural, and nominative. The outstanding benefits Quae, which you have conferred, colocasti, upon me, and they are not only outstanding, but they are numerous, plurima. So plurima is also neuter, plural, and nominative. And the quae clause here is modifying beneficia. 
those outstanding benefits or kindnesses, what do they do? They pardrem requirdrant gratitudinem. They demand or they ask for an equal gratitude. So pardrem gratitudinem is feminine, singular, and accusative, the direct object of the subjunctive verb requirant. Now here's the second reason. And partly, so we had partim quod, and partly because the small gifts, par wa dona, these are referring to his gifts, such as this, my duty is, uh, considered as worth nothing, nihili, neuter, singular, and a genitive of characteristic, or perhaps of price. Small gifts, such as mine, are usually, so lent, increased or made larger, ampliori commendatione, and this is going to be feminine singular and ablative of instrument. Magnificari is a present infinitive in the passive voice. So here's the second reason why he has to do this, because um, his own small gifts, such as this my munis, my office or function, is considered worth nothing, nihili, those small gifts can become larger, the solent magnificari, they can be increased by a greater expression of one's commendatione or recommendation. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that free lesson. Please like and subscribe, hit the bell. You can also become a patron at patreon.com slash Latin per diem. And if you really love it, you can leave a tip right here as a super fan. Thank you so much.